everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make hand warmers and I don't have any to show you right now because I packaged it up and I forgot to include it in the video <sighs> somebody ordered one and I already packaged it up but I will show you guys how to make hand warmers now I've seen some YouTube videos of hand warmers but they're always like more not advanced but more detailed I came up with a pattern just sitting on my own somebody messaged me and wanted me to make these so I was just like I looked at some inspo pictures and I went from there so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and what you want is some yarn I have these two colors I might um, do one hand brown and one hand red we'll see but you want to have your hook it doesn't matter what size well depend on how you crochet I typically don't really care about gauge or all that extra stuff I just go off of whatever <laughs> and it works out for me so you want to make a slip knot and excuse my nails I know they look trash you want to make a slip knot and you want to chain as much chains that will go around whatever you want the um, hand warmer to end on and I'm making it end like about right here so it's pretty long but it's also not really so I'm going to chain as much that I know that will fit around there so I'm gonna chain 31 so you want to chain 31 and you guys want to wrap it around your hands um, your arm and see how much you need to chain it just depends on you really so the beginning of this pattern is based off of you and your measurements so I'm gonna finish this off and I'll be back so now that I've chained 31 it wraps around my arm pretty well you guys can't see but it wraps around pretty well and now what you want to do is make sure you have the front of your stitch like that and then you want to slip stitch to the first stitch like this but make sure they're not like um, twisted make sure everything is straight and perfectly so we're going to slip stitch that in and then chain one so this part is also based on how you want to do it I like to crochet in the back loops so as you guys can see there's the front loops that we typically crochet in and there's also back loops so this is what the back loops look like and then this is what the front loops look like with the V's but on the back it has these little loops right behind it that you go under so I like to crochet through those just so I can have the bottom looking like that if that makes sense so this first round you're going to do however many single crochets you chained minus one so I chained 31 so I'll have 30 single crochets and I'm doing this in the back loop you can do it in the front loop if you want but I'm doing mine in the back loop and you don't want to do this round too tight you want to make them fairly loose just so you have room so that it doesn't get too tight so yeah do that and I'll be back for round two okay now I've completed the round one and I'm going to join with a slip stitch just like this and then for this round two you want to chain two because we're gonna start doing the double crochets and before you even start you want to put this on your arms um, wherever it's gonna end on and see if it's big enough if it's not big enough you want to take it apart and you know redo it just to make sure it fits pretty nice like it's tight not tight but like it fits snug but it's also not super loose for round two we're gonna do a normal row of double crochets so we want to go back into the stitch that we joined with which is the first stitch and you want to do your double crochets all the way around <music> Okay, now this part is pretty adjustable like you guys can change it up if you change it up if you want to but 
for round three to 14 for me, I'm going to do normal rows of double crochet. So I'm going to just slip stitch to join round two, chain one. And then from round three to 14, I'm just going to be doing normal rows of double crochet. Once you get to round 14, you want to leave five stitches unworked because that's where your thumbs will go through and it doesn't have to be five just depends on what will feel comfortable for your thumb so by that let me show you guys and right here this is where you can continue to make it longer or you can make it shorter like how I'm kind of doing it but you can definitely extend the arm a bit if you want to, but you don't have to. So right here is the point where I'm about to start doing the arm, the hand part. So you want to leave five stitches unworked. And I'm going to actually complete a couple more so that I can have five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to do these two. So since you are leaving five double crochets unworked or whatever amount that will allow your thumb to fit through comfortably, you want to chain that same amount plus one. So I left five, I'm going to chain six. So I chain six and then I'm going to slip stitch. And chain two. Now for round 15, or whatever round you're on that's after the thumb round, you're going to increase for three rounds to have room for your hands. And again, this pattern is pretty adjustable. Um, you don't have to. It just depends on how your hand is. If you want to increase for three rounds, you can. I personally like to because I like to have space where my hands are, but you can also increase for one round or two. It just depends on how you feel. Again, you want to increase for two more rows, and that's based on my hand size. But if your hand is smaller, you'll increase a little less. Or if your hand is bigger, you'll increase a little more. Okay, so now that we have done those three rows of increases, I'm going to slip stitch. And then I'm going to do one more row of double crochets without increases. Just a normal, simple row. And then I'll be back for the last round. Okay, so now I finished that last row of double crochet. I'm gonna slip stitch. And then for the last round, I'm gonna do a round of single crochets just to seal the top off. So you guys wanna do that real quick. Okay, so I finished that round of single crochets and this is what the hand warmer should look like. From here, you can decide if you want to connect your yarn to this last row and do a few more rows to make it longer or you can keep it like this. And yeah, so let me actually try it on for you guys so you can see how it looks. And this is how it is. It's super cute and simple. And I'm looking at this and I'm already thinking of other ideas for this hand warmer in other patterns, like a pattern with single crochet or whatever. So if you guys wanna see more of these, let me know. This is it for the video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it and make sure you comment down below and like this video and make sure you guys subscribe for more tutorials on random patterns that I come up with. And yeah, check out my website as well because I have these for sale. You guys can order these and make sure you leave the color that you want in your notes or email me with your color choices and we can work that out so again thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video